In this tutorial, I want to show you how you can insert an image into a shape in Microsoft Excel, which is great if you want the image to be a specific shape or a specific size whenever you're formatting and working on stuff. So, to do this, first enter the shape that you want the image in. To do this, go to the Insert tab, and then under the Illustrator grouping, click on that, and then you're going to want to go ahead and then click on Shapes. And you're going, going to want to click on the shape that you want your image to be in. So let's just say I wanted the image to be in this rectangle, for example. And the rectangle, and then I can draw the rectangle that I want the image to be in. Now to have this rectangle filled with my image, I want to right click on the rectangle, go down to the very bottom and then click on Format Shape. After I click on Format Shape, I want to make sure that I've clicked the Fill button to the left right here, and then click on Fill. Now, well, what do I want to fill the shape with? I want to fill the shape with a picture or a pattern. And it, as if I click on that, it defaults to random pattern, but ignore that. It says picture source. We're going to want to insert a picture. And you can insert an image either from a file that you have, from stock images, from online pictures, or from icons. As you can see, there's a variety of images that you can select from. I'm just going to select a random stock image just kind of for, for illustration purposes. But if there's a specific image that you want, you can go ahead and insert it, um, insert it into your Excel sheet, an image. So click on this bike right here, for example. Click OK. As you can see, the bike is now in this image. And if I use a different shape, for example, go to the Insert tab, click on Illustrations, click on Shapes, click on, let's just say, an oval or a circle, for example. I can do the same thing, or, you know, right-click on the shape, go down to format shape, click on solid fill, and then have it be a picture picture pattern fill. And as you can see, the image that I had selected is already just kind of just kind of there, and it defaults to be filling into the circle. Um, you know, one thing to note with the formatting, you're going to want to make sure that you format it in the way that you would want it to, to make sure it looks decent. Um, but yeah, and you can also do things like, like adjust the transparency, for example, Make the image look like you want it to. You can adjust the border of the shape. It, you can also tile the picture as a texture if you want to. Um, you can also offset it by you can also offset the image by however much you might want to. And you can choose how the image rotate with the shape. So as you can see, right now the image is rotating with the shape. But I can unclick that box, and as you can see, the image will not change as I rotate the shape. That's it. I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.